The easiest way to answer this question in the calculator paper is to think in terms of multipliers. Now multipliers are a nice easy decimal you time something by to do whatever the question is asking you to do. So either increasing it by a percentage or decreasing it by a percentage. So if we ignore the second part of the question, just focus on this bit, 11% off. We always start off with 100%, always. And 11% off would have taken away 11% from that. So that's going to leave us with 89%. Now, 89% is not a multiplier yet. All you need to do is divide it by 100 to make it a decimal. So in your calculator or in your head, divide it by 100 and you get 0 0.89. And that's a multiplier because all we need to do is put any number in here. We times it by 0 0.89 and it gives us what the new number is with 11% taken off. But the difference with this question is we're not working this way, we're working this way. So if you have a look at the question, it says the sale price is 917, work out the price of the TV before the sale. So the end price is 917. So instead of timesing it by 0.89, when we're working the other way, we divide it by 0.89. Now, I show it this way around because I like to have it in the middle, but we've got to do 917 divided by 0.89. Don't do 0.89 divided by 917, otherwise it won't make sense. So on the calculator, 917 divided by 0.89 and press equals. You might get a fraction, just press S to D. And we get... 1030 pounds 34. So I've rounded that to the nearest penny because the next one along it's 337, so the 7 pushes that 3 up to a 4. And so that's going to be 1030, so 1030 pounds 34. Let's see if that makes sense. Well, it kind of makes sense that it's gone down a little bit to 917 pounds. So the actual thing makes sense. We'd expect the price before the sale to be higher than the price on the sale. Something you can do to check that it works is you can then times that answer, times the answer by 0.89, and there we go. We get 917. So it completely makes sense.